Hey, this is the DIY Magician here with another discount tool review. This time, a utility knife from the Dollar Tree. Hang tight. All right, we have a utility knife and there are actual instructions on the back, so I will remove my glasses from the Dollar Tree, the Dollar Tree reading glasses, and we'll read the instructions. To change dull blades, it says to uh, push forward. I'll, I'll, I'll show you as we open the, the container. Push button forward to expose, expose dull blades. Remove blade snapper by sliding it up and snap off the dull blade okay and this says warning using hand tools can be dangerous always take care and keep away from children wear protective eyewear in work area at all times select correct type and size of hand tools for work and this is imported from china okay so this is one of those utility blades that you can actually uh, as it dulls, you can snap it off. We're going to show you how that works. Uh, let's see, it's in a uh, regular container. You need a utility knife to get it out, but I think we'll, we'll do okay. Probably should work from the bottom up. Okay. We're going to keep the back for uh, the instructions. We're going to bring it out the side, and it is right here. Everything it says, even on here, it says, Warning, sharp blade. Okay, so it is plastic in, in, in the handle. It is a, well, it's, I don't know if it's the brittle plastic or not. It feels like it. And then they have this overlay of the yellow right there. It's a different type of material. Uh, it has a uh, metal uh, channel. And if you push the button, you hear that it clicks okay so you can actually click it all the way now it looks like it might have a missing part to the blade anyway this one at the very end here but anyways what you're gonna do right there you've got the exposed blade right there okay now uh, it, these are handy if you're going to be using it for uh, say for instance you wanted to cut through a larger piece of foam if you're making a puppet you could do that and cut through a larger piece of foam. But I'm going to use it on the basic one there. Now, I have this uh, book here I'm going to use for another project. I'm going to just use the, uh, the cover for the other project. So we're going to try and remove a sheet of paper from the book, just like so. Let's see how many sheets. I'm not even putting a lot of pressure on it. Okay. So at least one should come out. Wow, several came out. How many pages? It looks like we got, just by a basic amount of effort, we got the little uh, inside cover sheet there. And without effort, one, two, three, four sheets of paper. Okay, just like that. Now, you're wondering how do I change the blades? Well, it says to, uh, I would probably put it back in like this so that it's safe, it's inside. It says to push this little apparatus to the side, just like that, okay? On the back, it says, oh, you basically just take it like this, okay? And apparently, oh, you got to get it to the to the clearance part. There we go. Apparently, you just get it in there like that. You ready? We're going to try it again. And it's supposed to just snap it off. And that's what it did. It snapped off one of the blade bits right there. There's a the little blade bit here. That was close. You saw it on camera. You have to be very careful when you're using these tools 
because I almost let it slide down and slice the inside of my hand, which would not have been fun. But there's the little blade bit there. Now, what I'd recommend is get an old medicine container and drop this in the medicine container and seal it up and use that same medicine container as a sharps container. So if you're pulling staples or brads or anything like that, especially these little razor blade bits, put it in there, keep it stored in there, and then when you're done, then you can dispose of it properly. But anyway, so there it is. There's the, um, the uh, handle goes, or the little knob at the bottom goes back on, snaps into place. The tool is in the lowered position there. Now it also comes with some extra blades. So there we go. It actually has um, a little handle there and it looks like the blades are right there. There are, are there two in there? I think there are, they're just really sandwiched together. These are maybe not. Is it supposed to have two blades? Two extra blades. Well, I think we might have... No, it, it's... They're sandwiched together. They're in there. They're really, really snug. But the uh, container actually has a pretty good little cover on it there. And the cover actually has a little hole just like that, so you can hang this on your pegboard. I'll tell you what, uh, it might not be the best tool in the world in the, in the way of the fit and the finish, but it's actually pretty well constructed for a dollar, and you're getting uh, two extra blades. Uh, you're getting, you have to, oh boy, you gotta really be careful because if you don't get it all the way in, there's a little tiny point. You gotta really get that thing locked into place, just like that. Uh, that's the only thing I can see that might be a problem is that if you're not paying attention, you could really hurt yourself. But other than that, I think it's worth a dollar. Uh, again, it's a Dollar Tree, uh, uh, let's see, utility knife with two extra blades. Thank you very much for coming back and checking us out if you've been here before. If you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe and you'll get all the updates. Thanks again until next time.